All right, um, break statement. So break statement is um, a, a function, uh, an operator in Python. So it is different from the break point, which is a, a function that in Python editor. So break statement and also continue statement and also pass statement give us more flexibility that we can control our loop. Uh, so break statement just breaks out uh, the the for loop or the while loop. So break statement can work within a for loop and also can work with a while loop. So for example, if you put a for loop, okay, for something, something, and when you run it, okay, so run some code, and here you see break, okay, so when uh, in some cases, when the Python reached the break statement, so it will stop uh, the, all the iterations. So it will stop the iteration. However, as we said, the you can have a nested loop. So for example, if you have a for loop, and within the for loop, you have another for loop. Okay, and within this nested for loop, you have a break. Okay. So remember that break statement will only stop the smallest inclusive loop. So that means that when Python reached this break statement, this for loop will be stopped and it will go back to the, the up layer of this for loop and that for loop will still continue. Okay, so that is what we meant that the smallest inclusive uh, is a for loop or the break loop or the a while loop. Okay, so in our class, I will try not to use the nested loops so that I won't make uh, uh, those content easier. So let's look at one example of using break uh, in Python. Okay, so here it is still our while loop. Uh, let's remove this break point. Again, break point is different from the break statement. So here you can see without this uh, break statement, we will be able to print out 432101. negative one. So however, let's say that we add a break statement. So we say if i equals one, okay, so if i equals one colon, and within this if statement, I say break, Okay, let's see what will happen. So now if we run it, okay, you can see um, it will only, sorry, this is if that one equals three. If I equals three, it will only print out number four. Okay, and let's see why. So now let's add, a, so this is break statement. So now let's add a break point in our debugging mode. Okay, so right now we can see i equals four. So four will not trigger this break statement. So it will, uh, four will be printed out. And now we go back to this while loop. And now i equals three, three meet this if condition. So it will go to this break and the break will just stop the current while loop. Okay, so now you can see it has been stopped, okay. Um, so that is a break uh, statement. Our next statement to control the flow is continue. So continue is different from the break that continue will just skip the current iteration, but it will continue with the next iteration. So find the most still uh, within a for loop. So when you reach the continue, so you are doing something. So continue will stop the current iteration. However, it will go back to the next iteration. So that is continue. So it is different from the break. And similarly, continue only work to that smallest enclosing loop. So either while loop or the for loop. Okay, so that is a continue statement. All right, so now let's see the difference between break and also continue. So we know that by running break, 
So it will only print 4 because when the i equals 3, uh, the loop will uh, be terminated. So if we change, change this one to continue, OK, uh, so let's first remove this uh, breakpoint. And now let's see what will happen. So now if we run it, we can see we have those numbers, but number 3 is not being printed out. OK, number 3 is not being printed out. So let's add a breakpoint. OK, and let's see how that will work. So first, i equals 4. And 4 will not trigger this if statement. So 4 being printed out. And next, i equals 3. So 3 is true in this if condition. OK, so it will continue. And let's see what will happen to the continue. So continue will skip this print function. So it will go back to the while loop and it will start the next iteration. So if we go to next iteration, i equals 2. 2 will not trigger on this continue statement. OK, so 2 has been printed out. And we will continue the so next one being printed out and zero being printed out and the negative one has been printed out and this uh, while loop is now uh, terminated all right so you can see the difference between the continue and also break and our last statement uh, for the flow control is called pass okay um, pass is a very interesting statement because pass does nothing. Okay, so <laughs> when you have a, a for loop, okay, or the while loop, so when it reach pass, it will just continue as it is said. So it's just pass, and it will continue to the uh, following part of this iteration, and also it will go back to that for loop or the while loop. Okay, so that is what the pass statement will do. But why do we need a pass? Well, in some cases, pass is required. OK, so in some cases, pass is required. So sometimes we may want the program to take no actions. OK, so this may sound like weird, but we will see an example later. Uh, so here, let's see how the pass will work uh, in Python. OK. Uh, so here, let's say we switch this one to pass and let's remove this breakpoint. And now if we run it, we can see all the numbers are being printed out. So it looks like with or without pass, uh, Python gives us the same result. Uh, if we add a breakpoint and let's go to the debugging mode and let's see how the pass will work. So first, i equals 4 at this uh, step. And 4 will not trigger this pass statement. So 4 being printed out. Next, i equals 3 now. And 3 will trigger the pass statement. So we go inside of this if. And you may not see that, but uh, we go to pass. And also, it just passed. And also, it go to the next step that is print 3 okay <laughs> and next i equals 2 2 being printed out i equals 1 until we reach the end of this while loop okay so that is a pass statement